It's pretty overwhelming, to be honest. When you know I'm watching, baby. Playing like one of the most iconic venues ever. You know, like that silhouette of the opera house is something that everyone can identify in their mind. When I'm playing these kind of very grand venues that have a lot of cultural significance, I guess I just try and bring an intimacy to the space. That's what I'm going to try and achieve tonight, I guess, bringing people into the other parts world and also just like bathe in the space. <laughs> In any moment where I see my music kind of forging connection and bringing people closer together, that's always super special for me to kind of be able to facilitate that love and warmth. Oh, this is very much a dream come true. Please. I'm trying to just like live in it and try not to get too in my head about it. I swear to God I try. God, I try. Big breath and then go.
This is pretty crazy. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, I still haven't fully taken in how special this is. Um, and I'm kind of nervous because this is like one of the most iconic spaces. My mom had this little calendar, a little Australian calendar, I'm not sure why, and she kept it in the fridge and it was just like the Sydney Opera House. Like from a child, that's all I saw in the kitchen every morning. And I was like, mom, I'm playing, I'm playing there. <laughs> um, so this means a lot to me. Um, thank you so much for being here. The next song I'm gonna play is a song called Caroline. Um, and I need you to sing it extra loud for me tonight. Let's do it together. Ready?
Give it up for Sam Harding on bass, everyone. Yeah. So this next one um, came from my unrelenting love of Radiohead. Um, to anyone who will listen, I will say, have you, you listened to that album in Rainbows? It's a good one. Um, but the first time that I ever heard the song Weird Fishes, I wrote this song and it's a song called Eugene. Um, and if you know it, sing it loud. Let's do it. Danny on guitar, always. Oh. 
<laughs> Sorry, suddenly it was so silent. I was like, I'm in charge. Okay, um, this next song is a love song. And it was written after my first time going to New York and kind of experiencing the romance of that city. And I guess trying to make a song about having a crush on someone and link it to that idea of being in a new place that really excites you um, and that feels new. And this is Dog Rose. <laughs> i 
Thank you everyone, that was special. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to my wonderful band. We've got Danny on guitar. We've got Jake's on keys and BBs. <laughs> we've got Sam on bass and synth. And we've got James, of course, on drums. How are we feeling? Feeling good? This next song is a song called Too Good and I need everyone out of their seats, please. I can see you guys up there.
So the next song I'm going to play is a song that's very important to me. It's a song called Black Dog. Um, and I wrote this song for both for a friend of mine and in a way for myself. Um, and as someone who's kind of suffered from depression for a long time and kind of found refuge in making music and in writing, there are still moments where I felt completely alone in my head. Um, and I think writing this song and kind of singing it with other people night after night it's kind of, I don't know, it's a reminder. Because there are still moments where I feel like that and then I get on stage and I sing it with people and I don't feel so alone in that moment and I hope that whoever out there is struggling doesn't feel alone in their heads either. So let's do it together. Do your eyes. 
Guys, this feels really good. Thank you for making this a lot less nerve-wracking and a lot more just pure fun, pure vibes, for sure. This next song is a song called Hope, and it started off as a mantra that I would tell myself when I was having a difficult time, especially because I wrote Collapsing Sunbeams very much at the beginning of the pandemic when everything was super uncertain um, and difficult, and that sense of you're not alone, you're not alone, you're not an island, there are people around you, you're gonna be okay. That sentiment was something that I would write down in my journal, and eventually it turned into the chorus of this song. So, this is Hope.
After that little bit of drama, um, we have one song left somehow. I know it went really fast for me too. I'm like, are we sure? Um, anyway, um, I'm going to play a song called Devotion, which is one of my absolute favorites of the record. But thank you, guys, in the Opera House. Come on. Yeah.
We were back there and I heard one more song and I thought, how could I not? <laughs> um, I want to play a song called Softly for you guys now. Well, thank you so much for making this so special, guys. This was really, really special. I'm not going to forget this one. Thank you.